Hi guys, it's uh, Sam for Digital Meet again, and uh, this is a quick tip. And in this quick tip, we're going to look at how we can um, transform an object's animation or animation path, curve, whatever you like to call it. Um, okay, so let's just get straight into it. I'm going to create a cube. This is just for, you know, nothing special, nothing fancy. And I'm going to keyframe it. I'm going to make an animation. So let's let's take off the rotation. So we're just going to do the its position and its scale. Take it to 30 frames. I'm going to move it over here like this, like that. And then we'll move it on to 60 frames. Move it up. Key that. And for the last one, we'll go back over here. Okay, so we got that keyed. Brilliant. Okay. Um, let's turn its rotation back on. Go to its coordinates. Let's say that for its. Let's key all this. And then for its last frame, we'll have it spin round or something. Okay, so key both of those values. So now we've got this animation. Okay. That's great. Now, say I had this cube animate in and there was a door here at the end and it was going to go through there or something, but then you had to make some changes to your environment. It's no longer going through the door, but you need it to. Um, so the animation itself is fine. The timing, the keys, everything's great. You just need to shift it slightly. Well, you can actually do this. If you pressed um, shift C, it brings up this uh, little uh, command line and I'm just going to type in animation and it's this one here we want uh, so I'm actually just going to drag this off and lob it in the uh, UI and if you click anywhere in the scene it'll get rid of that now so we're currently in this mode we're in this model mode um, but if we click this we're in the animation mode and when we're in this mode it means that we can select the object and then grab the axis handle here and we can actually shift our animation. So we can actually move the animation path in the viewport, which is incredibly handy. Um, so it's not just movement. We can grab the rotate tool. We can rotate the animation as well. And if you scrub through, it will play through as it did before. But the really nice thing about this is that you can scale the animation as well. So say it was a little bit off or you could uh, you can scale the whole thing, so I can scale the whole thing down. So it's exactly the same animation, just happens over a smaller um, area. So I'm just going to undo that. But what if I just wanted to rein it in slightly in one direction? Well, you can just grab it like that and uh, rein it in. It's also important to note. Let me just undo that. That um, that it scales from the object's pivot. So. Uh, if I scrub it halfway through the animation here, it'll actually scale it from this point. So you can see both ends of the animation are scaling there. But if I move it all the way to the end, it will scale from that point. So that's just something to bear in mind. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like I said, it was a quick tip. So that was very nice and quick. Um, uh, what else do I want to say? Oh, Digital Me website. Um, if you'd like to support the Digi Digital Me website, uh, there's a Patreon page. There's also a do donate button on digitalmeat.uk. And there's also a merch store as well. And that's got some Digital Meat branded uh, products on it. It's also got some other bits and bobs that I've put into uh, some collections. So, you know, T-shirts, that kind of thing. So if you want to help support Digital Meat and make these videos more frequent and better, please visit... Um, those places i'll put links in the in the description to the video okay cheers guys thanks a lot bye